Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a video dedicated to the Dashing Diva brand. I'm going to show you a few of the items that I already have from Dashing Diva in my collection and then you guys are going to go through the process that I go through when I am applying these gel strips. When properly applied, um, these gel strips have lasted me about two weeks if not longer. I wore the Dashing Diva strips when I, at the very end of the school year, when I went to um, Ocean City. So I ended the school year, went to Ocean City, and um, and if you guys don't know who, where, what Ocean City is, it's like a beach um, town. It has like a boardwalk, a pier, like all of that stuff, lots of activities to do. So I basically went to the beach with a boardwalk and I came back and it lasted me a good week and a half after coming back from Ocean City. So it is very long wearing um, when I have applied it in the method that I have applied it. And I also used this during the school year when I was being very rough on my nails because I had to take my laptop back and forth with me between work and school when I was working virtually, take my grade book back and forth and always constantly taking things in and out of my bag. And then towards the end of the school year, I was setting up labs. So, you know, I was pretty rough on my nails and also having to wear gloves and things like that. And it did last me a pretty long time. So let me quit rambling. And I wanted to show you guys, um, I guess some of the Dashing Diva sets that I picked up recently. So these are the Dashing Diva pedicure lines. So I normally use the um, the Dashing Diva manicure ones, but I saw that they had these. And by the way, I pick all of my Dashing Diva stuff up on the Ulta website. So they do have these pedicure ones, which like I said, I, I normally pick up the manicure ones, but and I use them. I also use them on my toes. So I decided to pick up these pedicure ones. They do have a few designs, but I only picked up three. So I picked up this blue one and it it has some, sorry, the packaging is a bit, um, like it has like a plastic over it, so I apologize if you can see my ring light. But it does have like these um, star designs on the thumb there. Um, this is in Shooting Stars. Um, then this one here is kind of like a, like a pinky water marble design. This is in Sorbet Sunrise. And then this one is really pretty. It's kind of like a pinky red. So it's like a red, but with like a slight hint of pink to it. It has like the glitter on the tips there. I think this is so cute. I may actually wear this when I go down to Florida in a week. And this is called Tickled Pink, but I would definitely um, say this is like a deeper pink that uh, leans a little bit more on the red side. Um, so I'm so excited to give these a go because it looks like it's gonna make trimming a lot easier than when you use the, um, the manicure ones. I also picked up these. So these are the newer ones that I have discovered on the Ulta website as well. These are the Ultra Sign Gel Effects and they also have um, these in just plain colors. I didn't pick any of those up because when I do wear the Dashing Diva, like these wraps, I like to have designs on them. I don't just like to have like just plain colors, but they do offer these. These are a lot cheaper. And um, by the way, the Dashing Diva, like the pedicure ones and the manicure ones are only like $8.99 or something like that. Um, the pedicure ones come with 22 strips and I'll show you the manicure ones in a minute. These come with 27 gel strips and they are a little bit cheaper. I want to say these are like $6.99 or something like that. Um, but I picked up the three that said effects because these were like, like first of all, the packaging is very cool, but these were like the glittery ones. Um, but the just plain colored ones also come in this packaging with the 27 gel strips. Um, so this one is in the shade. Okay, Rose All Day. I thought this one was going to be a little bit more of like a rose gold. It does have a little bit of like a pinky hue to it, but I would pretty much say this is like a silver one. So I'm a little disappointed that this one wasn't really like true to color. Um, this is called Cloud Dancer and it's just like a basic like silver 
silver glittery polish there um, and then this one is called shattered glass which this one is my favorite because it has like that shattered holographic glass on there um, you know the the little shards within glitter in um, embedded in like a glitter background so these are very very cool and I figured I would pick these up to use as accent nails for some of the leftover strips that I have from the strips that I have already used so these are the three newest ones the effects that I picked up so I guess let me show you the collection that this is going to turn into a collection video you guys let me show you guys the ones that I already have so the packaging has changed slightly so I'm going to show you guys the ones that may still be available I picked these up all off of Ulta but I've also seen them on the Dashing Diva website so let me go ahead and show you the um, kind of original designs that I have I do not have the Halloween ones um, to show you but I also picked up the ones um, I have like three or four of the Halloween designs um, that they released last year but these are like more neutrally more muted designs um, that I picked up last year around like the fall winter time so these are more like my fall winter colors um, these are like I said like the manicure ones that I've also used on my toes and they also last a pretty long time um, and the packaging is a lot thinner on these than the newer ones and these have 34 gel strips so here is the old packaging and here's the new packaging the old packaging had 34 gel strips and these only have um, 32. I digress. Let me go ahead and get into these. So this one here is this really pretty kind of, I don't know, like off grayish brown kind of color. You have one, two, three, four different designs here. Um, and this one is in all lined up. And then you have this one, which is like a lovely, like brown one. And again, you had four different designs. Very, very cool. This one was a granite goddess. Uh, this one, very similar to Granite Goddess, but this one is a little cooler, like a cool toned brown here and a lot lighter. And I loved like the rose gold details there. It's so pretty. Um, this one is in Lavender Dreams, which I was really confused about because there's nothing lavender about this. This is definitely a gray color. This, in my opinion, is a lot more lavender than the Lavender Dreams one. So this one is called Gleam Queen and I love this this is like a pastel one that I picked up because I wanted to wear this in the springtime um, and I just didn't have a chance to this in my opinion is lavender not the lavender dreams one um, this is a navy one called marble moment and it's very cool because it does look like marble this design right here um, very very cool this one is called Inside Edition and it's like a pinky, like a wine color, like a pinky wine color, definitely like a softer color there. Um, and I did say that was called Inside Edition. This is like a light pink color. Mm, I'd call it like a baby pink, but maybe a little bit more darker and deeper than a baby pink. Like this is a baby pink and this is kind of like a rosy pink, plush sorbet very pretty there this is a very cool one uh, this is definitely more like a rose color a more muted rose so it's somewhere in between um sorry that's kind of off camera it's somewhere in between these two shades here um, and I really liked this kind of geometric design there and this one is called rose sparkle yeah if if or rose sparkle if anything I think this is like a true rose color this is very pink pretty a very a uh, creamy pinky with some rose gold designs there and some rose gold marbling um, and then it does have like that shattered glass effect there which I think is very pretty crystal clear and then the last one I have here I wasn't going to pick this one up but there was just something fun about like this design here um, that I thought was kind of cool but this was like the least favorite of the ones that I picked up but we shall see we shall see how it wears and it's called glitter glamour all right so that was the old like old strips right and then they kind of <laughs> I don't want to say reformulated but they did they kind of reformulated because they added in new sizes so these are the newer strips right um 
And I guess they created like new sizes. So these sizes here are like pretty big. I would say you could probably wear these maybe on your toenails or if you have very, very wide thumbs. My, my thumbs are not super wide, um, but I know when I've done like friends manicures, um, this newer size does fit um, a lot of people's thumbs. So I'm kind of glad that they've like made bigger sizes. And like I said, you could use that as a pedicure and manicure because this does with does come with 32 gel strips. This one right here is called Meteor Shower. Very pretty. Um, I would say this glitter here is like a silver with like a pink shift. It may not catch it on camera, but it does have a pink shift to it. So that's Meteor Shower. This is a beautiful like emerald green palette here. Um, it's called Ivy Opal. Okay, so this one here I picked up kind of early. I, I recently picked up this order it maybe came in the mail like two days ago because this is like a fall design and those fall leaves are so freaking pretty i'm so excited to wear this oh so excited excited to wear this um and this one is called fallen leaves this is probably going to be my New Year's design because I don't really feel, I'm not gonna really feel like doing like a New Year's design um, this year. I know I'm planning ahead. This is called Galaxy Unknown or it could be a really nice one to wear for date night for my anniversary, I think. I'm terrible, you guys. I'm terrible at remembering um, like what my wedding anniversary is. I think we're going on, let's see, I got married in 2014. So that would make this my seven year anniversary, my seven year wedding anniversary. Correct me in the comments if I did the math right. <laughs> I always forget. I always forget how many years we've been married. Did we get married in 2014? Maybe we got married in 2013. I don't know. I don't really keep track of that because that's not really like important to me and my husband. Um, this one is called Imperial Jasper. Very beautiful, like royal blue. Um, this one I've actually repurchased because I used this one already on a friend's manicure and I really, really liked the way it came out. It's more bright and more neon in person. Um, it's just this hot pink one called Palm Beach. This is so cute. I wish I would have had this for the springtime. Look at those butterflies. They're just adorable. It's this really pretty kind of Eastery in my opinion, design called Frill Seeker. And this last one is like a mixture of blues. And to me, this blue here doesn't really make sense. So these are more like muted lavender colors, right? Lavender and blue colors. And then you have this bright pop of like, almost like a neon blue glitter there. I don't know, I may kind of mix and match this with like other designs and remove this blue and put it in with like a different palette but this one is called Taking Shape. So let's see, uh, I don't know which one I'm going to do today. Uh, maybe I'll pick some of the older ones because there is one in here that I thought was very, very cool and sophisticated. Maybe I'll use this one here. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and use this one here in Rose Sparkle or Rose Sparkle. And I'm gonna be showing you guys the very simple tools and the process that I use to apply these strips. So these are um, kind of like gel, like it wears like a gel manicure. Like it has that very like gel manage, manicure finish. Um, but these are strips that all you really have to do do is just apply them on your nails and like file off the excess. That's it. You don't really need a base coat, um, which I do use, but I will show you the guys the base coat that I use, um, but you do not need it. I have worn it without a base coat and it still lasts a pretty long time, but I feel like the base coat that I use helps it last a little bit longer. Um, and it also helps protect my nails during the removal process. You do not need a top coat. So quite literally, all you have to do for this is prep your nails with an alcohol pad, place the gel strip, file off the excess, and that's it. You would literally have a manic manicure in like less than 15 minutes um, if you did it very, very quickly. I like to take my time with these. I'm gonna go ahead and probably play some music or maybe do a voiceover because I would like to watch some TV while I am kind of slowly doing my nails here. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the music. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions um, or any other things 
you need me to clarify from the video, um, give this video a thumbs up if you guys end up enjoying it. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Enjoy the application process. Alrighty, I am going to start off by removing the current manicure that I have. I'm showing you guys the system. I do have a video on how to um, use this system. This is my nail polish, glitter polish, gel polish removal system. I actually am wearing a gel top coat with this. So I'm going to let this one soak for about three to five minutes. And it's just going to remove all of my nail polish at once. I will leave that video linked. Next up, I'm just going to shape my nails. So I use um, two files, this 180 um, grit file, and then I go back in with a super fine grit block just to smooth out my edges and and lightly buff on top of my nails and then um, one of the steps that the instruction states is that you do have to kind of prep your nails with an alcohol prep pad I like to do that just to remove any like filing dust so um, these do come with a set of instructions a nail file and the newer ones actually come with an alcohol prep pad um, you see here all of the different sizes that I am pulling out the base coat that I am using is the OPI Infinite Shine base coat. This is hands down my favorite base coat. I have talked about this in like my long lasting manicures video. I absolutely love this and this is the base coat that I wear underneath these wraps. So the application of these wraps is fairly simple. It does have a clear backing so you're able to kind of see what size and just put it right up to your nail and see what size you want to use for your nail wrap. The trick with these nail wraps is that you do not want to use a size that is too large. You want to use a size that is slightly, slightly smaller than your nails because if you use something that is too large, what's going to happen is, is it's the adhesive is going to actually touch your skin. Um, on either side of your nails and it that's what's going to cause the lifting you want the adhesive and the nail wrap to only ever touch your nails um, and like you saw here I use that silicone tool to kind of smooth down the wrap first because I don't want any of the oils from my fingers getting on the nail wraps and then I go in, sometimes depending on how the nail wrap has laid down, I will go in with my finger on top to apply a little bit of pressure. I smooth it down a little bit on the edge of the nails. And then depending on how long the nail wrap is, um, or how thick the nail wrap is, like the glitter ones are a little bit thicker than just the plain colored ones. I will trim off a little bit of the nail wrap with my scissors before I go in with my nail file. And so my filing system you will see here, um, I'm actually using the file that comes in with the kit um, or with the, the nail wraps themselves. And I will use that file, but I go back in with my buffing block, my fine buffing block, just to make sure that it is, the edges are super smooth. And that kind of helps a little bit with fraying. Um, and I find that the, the nail file that comes in the system is a little too coarse to remove kind of that like excess and make it like super smooth and help with the fraying. Um, and that's it. You don't need to apply a top coat or anything like that. The one suggestion I do have when applying these nail wraps is after you have applied them, don't put any cuticle oil on. Don't immediately go and wash your hands. I would let these sit for like a good hour before you apply or do anything with the nail wraps. So here I am showing you the excess and the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.